Our joint news checks at the local government ministry have revealed that more than a dozen buses donated by the Turkish government to Ghana to be distributed to various assemblies to aid their work are still here in Accra. Some of the buses have developed cracks and others are discoloring, obviously stemming from the unfriendly weather conditions. Nancy MFA Radosi visited the area and now reports. The Turkish government in September last year donated these Mercedes 34-seater refurbished buses to the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development to help the transport sector. The Turkish ambassador Nesrin Bayasit charged government to use the buses judiciously. Uh, will donate buses to, for the use of public transport in Ghana. So we've worked on that project and I'm, I'm so pleased that finally it came to an end. And uh, we hope that this will be useful for the people of uh, Ghana. We know that there is great need in public transportation and this is one part of it. And, uh, this buses came with the spare parts and it has been quite uh, expensive project but uh, we are very pleased that Ghanaian people will benefit from this and uh, we hope uh, we are just seeking you know just thank you from them and uh, it will be we, we hope that it will be in good put in good use and I, I have no doubt that the local government and the rural uh, development uh, will do everything to see that that will be done. The local government minister, Hajia Ali Mahama, at the time, assured government will make good use of these buses. Istanbul Metropolitan, the mayor of Istanbul Metropolitan, they organized these 30 buses for us. They are refurbished buses. They are not brand new, but you can see, when you go inside, you can see that they are well refurbished. We refurbished buses to support us in our public transport system, urban transport system. And they've also added some spare parts, 40-footer 40, 40 container spare parts. So hopefully they'll be on the road for a while. We'll get, we'll distribute them to some, some uh, districts. I mean, definitely not all, 30 cannot go to all, but a few will, 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 will get some. And our concern is when they pick up the vehicles and run them, whatever process they get from it, it should be used used for the maintenance of the vehicle. Of course, they will have to pay the drivers and the conductors who will be running the vehicles, but we would ensure that they open an account, put part, some of the proceeds in for maintenance of the vehicle. Maintenance is key. It's already eight months since the buses were donated, and they are still at the premises of the Institute of Local Government here in Accra. Out of the 30 buses donated, Joy News could only count 13 currently stationed on the compound. There were cracks on parts of some of the buses. Others have discolored, a clear indication of how they have been left at the mercy of the harsh weather condition. Unconfirmed reports indicate 17 of these buses have been moved to some district. But why are these ones still here and for how long? How are the assemblies doing without them? We will find out.